14 year old, but my boobs are huge. <laughs> Hi, you see that little kid right there? That's me. My name is Caleb. And this girl right here is the one and only Bianca. Today is our one year anniversary of being friends. Also, it's the day I admit my feeling for Bianca. Caleb, are you even listening to me? Do you have a fever? Talk to me, child. Did you have a concussion or something? I'm fine. I promise. Wanna go to the park? Sure. I'll meet you there. Give me two minutes. Okay, Caleb, don't be a wimp. You got this. Hey, Bianca. Hey, Bianca. Who's this? Oh, Caleb. This is my new friend, Dominic. Hi, Caleb. Hi. Who are the flowers for? And nobody. I just thought they were pretty. Caleb, can I talk to you for a second? Of course. Do you believe in love at first sight? Yeah, I do. Why do you ask? Well, I think I'm in love. Really? With who? With Dominic. That was when I got my hopes up a little too high. But you just met him five minutes ago. I know, but I feel like he's my soulmate. Well, I hope he likes you back. Thank you for being a supportive friend. Anything for you. That was the last time she hugged me. She was happier with Dominic. Dominic was always nice to me when we were both alone together. It's like me wanting to be my friend. I think I like Bianca. I want to get her a gift. You're her best friend, so what does she like? She likes apples, high heels, and dresses. I hope someone has told you you're a great friend. Even though I was jealous that Bianca spent more time with Dominic, I still supported my two best friends. It seemed like over the years Bianca was losing less and less interest in me. I'll be right back. Fifteen minutes later. I wonder what she's up to. Maybe she's... I see my ship has sailed. More years went by and it seemed like me and Bianca's friendship had ended. Dominic was still my best friend. Dominic and Bianca were dating for about two years until, well, they broke up. But my feelings never went away for Bianca. Present day. Hey, well, I'm going to go talk to them real quick. Why? Because Dominic is on my basketball team. They allowed girls to be on a boys basketball team. They decided to make it any gender team this year. Come on, let's go say hi. Hey, Dominic. Oh, hey, Dallas. You ready for the basketball tournament today? The Clovers don't stand a chance. H, hi, Bianca. Hi there. Caleb, are you coming to my basketball game? Wouldn't miss it for the world. You can come to if you want, Bianca. Thanks. You're probably wondering what happened to these two. Well, you see, it happened a little over a year ago when Dominic and Bianca were dating until Bianca ruined their relationship. A year ago, when Dominic asked Bianca to be his girlfriend, she of course said yes since she had been crushing on him since we were seven. They were pretty happy and they did almost everything together. It was pretty obvious that they were in love. Everything was great for them until I caught Bianca cheating on Dominic. It happened over the summer when a coincidence when me and Bianca were on the same beach. She was with some other guy and I knew for a fact they weren't just friends. I told Dominic what happened the next day. Dominic dumped her that day. I was hoping that after their breakup Bianca would want to be my friend again. But that never happened. It seemed terrible to ruin their relationship. But Dominic deserved to know the truth. I haven't gotten over her. Bianca still hasn't gotten over Dominic though. Well, I hope you guys win. Go Blue Jays. Anyway, my girlfriend got in as a cheerleader this year. She's rooting for our team and she would be a great. About Dominic's new girlfriend. You're coming to my basketball game, right? Of course I am, silly. 
I'm cheering your team on. I love you. I love you too. No, I love you more. No, I love you more. No, I love. We get it. You both love each other. Well, I'm sorry you're still single. Take that back, you moron. How about no? I swear when I get my hands on you. <sighs> Boys. This is Avor. Avor is a really sweet girl. She loves making friends and is obsessed with cheerleading. After school, basketball tournament. Go, go Juice J. Go. go. Um, hey, can I sit here? Go ahead. You enjoying the game? Not really, it's kinda boring and annoying. Especially when Dominic is always flirting with one of his cheerleaders. I know, right? That girl is just so annoying. She's always stealing my chances to talk to Dominic. You're still into him, aren't you? I wish he can see that love changed, and that I was still a better girlfriend than her. When he met Ava, he's been a lot happier since. You break up with him. You should get to know Ava, she's really nice. I think you two would be great friends. No way am I being friends with that goody to shoes. You know she's only dating Dominic because she wants attention? You don't know that though. Of course I know that. She's a spoiled little rich girl. So why do you want him back? He's everything you want in a guy. He's charming, athletic, funny, and fun. Do you think he should give me a second chance? Uh, watch out! How bad does it look? Ooh, ooh, you know what? I'ma get an eye patch. Be right back. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. You threw that ball, didn't you? On accident. Lemma get you an eye patch. Thank you. Anytime. Well, I gotta get back to my team. Sorry again for your eye. How can you stare at them all day? They're both so gross. I love you, baby. No, I love you more. Kiss, kiss. Moi. I'm just waiting for that girl to finally leave so I can talk to him. Ava doesn't mind when people are nearby. Why not now? No. Hey, guys. Oh, hi, Caleb. Who's this girl? That's Bianca, my ex-girlfriend. So why are you two together? Are you a couple or something? No, we're just- We are seeing each other as a matter of fact. We just didn't want to tell anyone. Well, I'm so happy for you two. Will you please excuse me and Bianca real quick? Can you tell me what just happened? What was that all about? Why did you say that we were dating? We don't even talk anymore. I'm sorry I panicked. I just need to get closer to Dominic. Can't you just move on? He already has a girlfriend. He's been something special to me since I was a kid. If I pretend you're my boyfriend then I'll be a part of your group. And then I'll be closer to Dominic. And I'll be friends with him. So you're just using me so you can be close to Dominic? That's pretty messed up. I'm sorry, but I'm not doing it. Wait, Caleb, please. We can spend time like we used to as kids. Remember? The good times. I'll never ask anything from you again. Just please do this one thing for me. If I reject her, then I may never hear from her again. And I miss when we hung out as kids before we met Dominic. This is my chance to prove that I'm better than Dominic. Okay, Lel, do it. Thank you so much, Kaylin. Please tell me, what just happened? If this is a prank, say it now because it's not funny. It's true, we are, dating. Bianca is a cheater, you even saw her do it. She's changed you know, she's a better person now. Look, love is blind, and it's a real thing. That's how I felt with Bianca. I would have never realized until you told me what was going on. Plus, I never see you to talk anymore. I know she wants something out of you. Now I'm not gonna stop you from dating her. You're still my best bro. I just want you to make the right decision for yourself. Now Bianca can be in our group if you stay by her. Thank you so much Dominic. Sometime I question, why did I want to be friends with that kid? He said you can be in our group as long as you're with me. Yes. Okay, so before we go outside, we need to establish some rules on our fake couple. Rule number one, don't kiss me. Rule number two, don't be weird with me, like how Dominic and Ava are. Remember I wanna win his heart back, so keep it casual. 
then Dominic and Ava are gonna get suspicious if we don't do couple stuff. How about this? You can hold my hand and take me out to dates. Remember, casual couple stuff. Okay, let's do this. Hey guys. Oh, hi, Caleb and Bianca. Hi there. What are you guys talking about? How Ava is thinking about dyeing her hair orange. That would look so bad on her right. And guess what? Every day was like this. I was starting to think that this whole faking dating thing was stupid. But if I didn't get what I wanted, I would have to get it myself. Ava, I can't believe you dyed your hair purple. Hey, it was better than I expected. Fatty, you're not gonna stick up for me? Anyway, how about pizza at my place tonight? Do I? Actually, we have a date tonight. We do? Yes, we do. At my place tonight. Okay, have fun at your date night. Oh, we will. They are such an odd couple. Ya think? But he invited us over for pizza. Dominic always has pizza parties. Love been to like a million of them. So where are we going? To my place. Come on, we're walking. Welcome to me, Casa. It's just what El remembered when we were kids. Well, let's go inside. Are these your? I didn't know you had siblings. They're so cute. What are they doing? Are they just staring at each other? They're having a staring contest. Ha, huh, you bink! No, I didn't. You, you meanie! Caleb, Caleb, Tristan cheated. Yeah, Tristan, I saw you cheat. Are you mad at me? No, just be nice to your sister. <coughs> you wanna ride on my shoulder? This is why my back is so bad. Anyway, this is Tristan and Trinity. They're both twins and they are both three years old. Say hi, guys. Hi, hi pretty, pretty lady. lady. Well, I'm gonna talk Bianca to see our mother. Farewell, siblings. Are you coming? Hi, mom. Hi, Caleb. How was school? It was good. Wait, is that who I think it is? Bianca, is that you? Gosh, I haven't seen you since you were in fifth grade. Look at you. You're all grown up. It's nice to see you again, Miss Howard. I missed you too, sweetie. I didn't think you two were still friends. Bianca is actually my girlfriend now. Oh, well. I better leave you two alone then. Here, your hand is sweaty. How come you didn't tell me you didn't have siblings? You didn't talk to me anymore, so Elle thought it didn't matter. You were always hanging out with... Dominic. I'm sorry, I... Dominic has always been something special to me and... I guess I just got excited. I forgot what a great friend you were. If I was such a great friend you wouldn't have forgotten about me. Anyway, where is your dad? Caleb? We haven't talked a lot, have we? Don't tell me. He jet of a tumor last summer. I'm so sorry. I wish I would have been there for you. But you weren't. <laughs> What's wrong? Did something happen? Sometimes I still miss my dad. You know, out of my 11 years I've known you love never seen you cry. Yeah, you basically ditched me more than half those years. I've known you for my whole life. And this whole time love never seen you shed a tear once. Wanna know why? Whenever you were sad, you never showed it. You've always had that big brave smile on your face. You've been such an inspiration to me to always be positive. Even in the darkest and most messed up situations, you always know how to fix it. You always have hope and you're strong. I just wish I was there to see at the times love known you. Hey enough with the deep conversations. Let's do something. The next day. Are you excited for your Tristan and Trinity's birthday, Caleb? Yeah, they both want a birthday party. Caleb. What? It's the World Series. There's a bar nearby. We could watch from there. We'll be right back, ladies. Boys, am I right? I'm curious, how did you and Caleb met? Oh, we were childhood best friends. How did you and Dominic met? We met a year ago. He was my classmate in junior year. We always sat across from each other. Get to the point. I was going through really rough times. My big brother had just passed away due to a car crash. Dominic also was going through hard time too. 
He said his girlfriend had cheated on him. He was so. I was that girl. What? I was his girlfriend who cheated on him. Well, I'm sure he's forgiven you by now. You're just saying that because you have pity for me. If Dominic didn't forgive you, he would have never let you in our group. I'm sure that you two can build up your friendship again. Thank you. Hey, Dominic. Hey, you. I was just looking for you. I need to talk to you. When do you want to break up? What? What do you mean? You know, the part where you take Dominic's heart back. I don't want him back anymore. What do you mean? You've wanted to- I know, but... I just... I just... lost interest in him. So all of a sudden you just lost interest in him? Yes. Is that so hard to understand? This relationship is ending today. It's not like he deserved you anyway. What exactly is that supposed to mean? If you weren't so selfish, you and Dominic would still be together. Shut up. You don't even know what happened to us. Oh, Bianca, I know everything. Did Dominic tell you? I watch you do it. You were the one who told Dominic. All this time, all this time I could have still been with him. But you had to go mess things up between us. I messed up? Dominic did nothing to deserve what you did. He deserved to know the truth. Hey, we heard yelling. Everything okay? I should have never let you helped me get back to Dominic. I would have never helped you with your stupid plan if it wasn't for you. What are you talking about? All these years, love wanted you back, but all you wanted was Dominic. Do you know how much that broke my heart? What? You're really clueless, aren't you? It hurt to see you only want Dominic. Of course you were gonna choose him over me. He's much more charming, athletic, funny, and fun. You wanted Dominic to see that you've changed. Well, guess what? You haven't changed at all. You're still the same, stubborn, selfish brat love known my entire life. Some girls are worth fighting for. Clearly, you aren't one of them. I made a mistake. I hope you learned yours. I knew something was fishy about this relationship. How could you do this? I thought you were my friend. I am. Please let me explain. No, I gave you my trust. Not only are you cheater, you're a liar, a user and bad friend. I'm done, goodbye. She's right, you know. I thought you were someone different now. Clearly not. I was never gonna go back you anyway even if you have changed. You can't change the past. Have a nice life, Bianca. Now you know what it feels like. Like what? When the person you've been trying to get to so hard doesn't want you. Ava is right about you. I don't know why I bothered trying to be with you. Caleb. Listen to me. I'm done listening to you. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. <laughs> I deserve that. Dad, I'm home. Hi, Dad. Why are you late? I needed to finish stuff at school. Can I talk to you? Not right now. I'm busy. Doing what? You never have time for me. Do you even care about me anymore? Enough. Deal with your problems yourself. <laughs> I miss you, Mom. Don't worry, I'm gonna make things right. Somehow. With Caleb. Caleb. Thank God you're here. Tristan and Trinity's birthday party is next week. We have to get the house prepared. We have to get cake and presents and decorations and- Mom, it's okay. I got this. We'll figure it out. I don't think we have to do this alone. Maybe you can get your friend's help. Dominic, Ava, and your girlfriend, Bianca. We need someone to feed the kids. We need someone to put up decorations. We need someone to be in charge of activities. And another to make sure none of the kids wander off to who knows where. Mom, if I get my friends, will you stop acting weird? Please, honey. I want to make the kids feel special this year. This is their first birthday without their father. Mom, I'll get all my friends. Thanks, hon. What would I do without you? So how many kids? About 18. Huh? 18 kids? I know it's a lot, but guys, I need your help. My mom is stressing out over this birthday party. Caleb, relax. We'll be there no matter what. Thank you, guys. Is it true? What? You having a crush on Bianca all your life. If I would have known, 
I wouldn't have. Look, I did not want to ruin your happiness and your love for her. That would have been terrible of me. And she wasn't into me. My mom also wants Bianca to be there at the party. That's cool. We'll still be at the party. After school. Where is she? Hey, Bianca. H. Hey, Kayla. Do you need something? Yes, I do. Tristan and Trinity are having a birthday party next week. And my mom wants you, Dominic, Ava, and me to help with the party. It's not like I want you there or anything. Sure, well, come. 6 o'clock p.m. sharp. Noted. At Nick and Taylor's house. You're so amazing. I love this. Yeah, you too. I'm in a good mood right now. Feel free, honey. Baby, every weekend I want us to do this. But what happens if Nick knows about us? He won't let me alone. Oh, I'm a bad best friend. Don't worry, honey. If no one said it, no one would know. Only we know about this. I'm still nervous. Babe, he's been my best friend since childhood. We grew up and built a career together. Stay calm. He takes the kids to the park. I have a hunch that something bad is about to happen. Don't think too bad. He even takes the kids to the supermarket. Stay with me longer. Okay, babe. I trust you. I'm hungry now. We should cook something. Babe, what do you want to eat? Beef steak and some chicken curry, I think. Anything you want. You always cook well. Till hour later. <gasps> Taylor, open the door, please. Taylor, are you there? I forgot to bring the key. Oh my god, he turns back. What should we do? Shh. Why is he back at this time? He's supposed to be back in three hours. I don't know. He will kill us. Taylor, can you hear me? I just smelled beefsteak. Hurry up. I'm waiting for too long. Mom, I want to go to the bathroom. Open the door for me quickly, please. I want to take a shower right now. Hurry up, Dad. I need to open the door for him. Otherwise, he'll get mad. What about me? Hide in my closet. Open the door, Taylor. Hurry up. What are you busy with? Oh, sorry. Bye. I'm here. What are you doing? What took you so long? I'm really sorry. Bye. Um, uh, yeah. I'm in the middle of cleaning up the dishes and the washing machine, so I can't hear you. Did you forget your keys at home? <laughs> Lucky for you. I'm staying at home today. You've been too long. Our children can't take it anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. Why are there two pieces of beefsteak? Did someone just come to our house? Oh, I cook more pasta. All right, we don't talk about this anymore. Jim, let's go to the toilet. And Katie, get your clothes from my room and take a shower now. We played at the park, so need to clean up before dinner. Yes, Dad. What? Why do you look so panicked? You so weird today. Nope, you think too much. Oh, no, he's already suspecting me. Oh, um, um, I mean, the bedroom is so messy. Let me clean up before you come in. What? Messy? Why? Oh, um, oh. Tell me, Taylor, are you hiding something? No, no, don't come in. Oh, Dad, the room is so clean and tidy. Taylor, are you lying? Is there someone in this house? No one. Bye. <laughs> Please, David, hide in the closet. I don't believe in you. Oh, I just wanted to make a little surprise. What surprise? I see something wrong. I've washed all clothes and they're all wrinkle-free. Really? I have to lie you to him. You have never worked so hard. I was quite surprised about you. I want to do housework with you so you don't feel tired anymore. Godness, luckily David hid in the closet and wasn't detected. Um, sorry, bye. Sorry for doubting and saying bad words to you. Never mind, honey. All right, kids. Take a shower and get ready for dinner. Katie, take the clothes from the closet. Wait, darling. I'm still cleaning up the closet. Haven't cleaned it for a long time, so there's a lot of dirt inside. Temporarily take your clothes from the back of the house. You are definitely hiding something, Taylor. Don't make me mad. You've always been nervous and panicked since we entered this room. Katie, open it. Oh, Uncle David. What the hell are you doing here? Are we playing a game, Dad? Oh, uh, it was just a surprise for you, kids. We were playing hide and seek games, and he found a really good hiding spot. Shut up, Cheech. This doesn't feel like a game. Don't hide anything. Tell me the truth, Taylor. Um, I can't hide this affair anymore. 
What's going on here? Fuck you. Nick, I, I can explain. It's not what you think. Everything was so clear. I trusted both of you even though you always ask about my wife. This is how you betrayed me. Nick, please forgive me. It was a mistake, Nick. I'm so sorry. I never meant to hurt you. How dare you, Taylor? How dare you do that in my bed? I'm really sorry, bye. It was a mistake. Let me explain. Nick, I'm sorry too. It's just a misunderstanding. I never wanted to hurt you. I don't want to ruin your happiness. Do you think I'm a fool? Stop, Nick. Your mouth can only say dirty things like that. You betrayed my trust. These actions are like a knife to my heart. Nick, you mustn't hit him. He's still our friend and your best friend. Friend? What are friends? Friends are the way you do this. You slept in my wedding bed. Come to rob my wife and destroy my family happiness. Mom, Dad, don't fight anymore. I can go to the bathroom on my own. Don't argue anymore. Then I can play hide and seek with Uncle David. We are feeling very scared. All right, I'll say everything I've been holding in my heart for so long. Don't be too surprised by this. Nick, I have feelings for David. I love him. Do you have feelings for him? More than you have for me. After all these years together, after all the ups and downs, you say you love someone else, not me. I, I don't know, Nick. I love him more. Him more? What made you change your mind like that? We've got two kids. If you don't love me, you have to think about the kids. That's my true feeling, Nick. No one can change my mind. You're not perfect either. You are just busy all day with work. You don't spend any time with me. That is not perfect. That is the love, loyalty, and noble responsibility of a father and husband who are devoted to her family. You were once an admirable wife. Now you have destroyed it. Marriage is no longer something for us to strive and build together. Nick, calm down. I never intended to do that. It's just a small mistake. It's out of control. No more excuses. Any explanation is meaningless, David. Stop fight, Nick. So that you are defending him? The one who gets hurt is me. After all the hurt, I'm the one who suffers the most. Enough, Nick. I don't want to hear any more of this whining. I want a divorce. Divorce? But we have two kids, Taylor. I don't care. I can't stand it and don't want to see your face again. You used violence to hit David. Get out of my house. Because of you, you betrayed me along with my best friend, and now you want to kick me and our children out of our home. I just want to be with David. I want to start a new life without you. Um, I want to live with Taylor. I love Taylor more than you love her. Are you willing to throw away everything that we've been trying to build together all these years for her? Just for adultery? It's not about love. It's our love story that has reached a dead end for a long time. Neither of us can please the other. The distance between us is getting bigger and bigger and it's hard to love each other like before. So, this is how it ends. You chose someone new instead of me and the kids. Did you choose to get a divorce instead of talking about it and working it out together? Yes. I choose her. You and the kids have to leave. Fine, and then have it. This is my own house. You and the kids get out of here and never come back. All right, I'll take the kids with me. Never regret these decisions. What's happening, Dad? Why are we leaving? This is my house. Or are we going to take a long vacation somewhere else? Yes, we are. We have to leave because this is your mother's decision. This place doesn't belong to us anymore. This place will be just memories. So where do I go on vacation? A new home, a new journey and a new vacation without your mom. Where is it, Dad? Just go. We'll find a new place to live, where it's just the three of us. But I don't want to leave. Baby girl, it's not ours anymore. I love it. I know, my love. It's a hard time for us, but we can't stay here anymore. We'll find a new home with the love and happiness. But I thought Mom still loved us. Is it because we didn't play hide and seek with Uncle David that Mom kicked us out? Dad, can't we make Mom change her decision? Or will Mommy and Aunt David come with us? No, darling. We don't need to talk about them anymore. Oh, that's it. It's time for a new chapter in our lives. Nick leads her children away and found a new house to rent. His heart is heavy with the pain of betrayal. All right, my lit loves. We will start a new life full of energy. We're moving into our new home. Dad, 
This house is not as large as our previous house. Daddy, there isn't a garden either. Sorry, bye. I will work harder and harder so we can live in a bigger house with a larger garden. Can I plant flowers and raise more birds? Definitely yes, my love. We'll make our new house become a beautiful place. A few months passed, and Nick found a job as a waiter, cleaner at the five-star restaurant, and was able to provide for his children. Look who he is. He looks so poor. What are you doing here? A waiter cleaning staff. Ha ha ha. What's up? It doesn't matter what I do, as long as I don't go and break other people's family happiness. 